Hey, hi everyone. So we are back with another video. So this video is for a new system design that we're gonna be performing on live on this video for a business problem. So just to uh, brief you about the problem statement before, and uh, this video is not gonna be about uh, demonstrating what all things from the business requirements and all that. But this actually entire system design will be divided into multiple videos, not only one. So we will be creating multiple videos like one uh, video for initially understanding the requirements, what all uh, business requirements are there. And then we'll be going in another videos, we'll be demonstrating about the components and all that. And then about uh, how we're gonna be working about uh, different requirements from the business side and how we gonna be catering that to the actual product. And then about how actual product will look like in terms of our architecture design. So this is how these videos gonna be look like. So we're gonna be starting up with the problem statement and I'll be explaining entire business requirements. What is actually the business? What are the key pain points of the business which they want to improve with the help of technology? So I'll be gonna be demonstrating all those things in this video. Uh, we'll be touch basing on the technical side also. Maybe in this video some part of it and probably in the next part of it larger part of the next video will go into the technical areas. So let's jump on to the uh business requirements first of all uh, okay so let me just draw about the problem statement that we have so the problem statement is on the restaurant system for example we're going to be talking about the restaurant systems uh the first thing is the restaurant systems we're going to be digitizing them like the order uh taking process and how those orders will be going to their different uh, systems of a restaurant. For example, uh, if you go to a restaurant, so you see, or a cafe or a big hotel where you actually go and uh, take your uh, whatever meal. So there are different areas of that restaurant, it's not only one. So for example, you go and sit there and you order your food, uh, someone from the uh, hotel management or uh, waiter side comes to you and takes the order and he or she takes the order to the back uh, to the chef and chef starts preparing the order and the order comes to you. This is one area where you sit in the restaurant or hotel and you order your food. Then the other area is where you order your food online while sitting at the home so where you are not aware about the much things about the waiters and what all hotel or restaurant has and all that so you just look at the menu and just you just order it other thing is if you go to the restaurant and uh, let's say you are planning to go to a restaurant and you have you are outside that restaurant or you are just a few minutes away from that restaurant and you just want to order that restaurants app and uh, at the same time you want to track your order also by the time you reach the restaurant or maybe in the time you are waiting outside the restaurant so in that time you want to track that uh, uh, you are waiting outside the restaurant you are tracking your order how much time it is taking so in the meantime you are getting notifications like how much time it's gonna take and at the same time you are aware that after how much time the waiter will come to me and deliver the order so this is just a hypothetical kind of scenario i'm just mentioning to you uh so now here the what is the pain point so i'm just gonna be listing few of the things which i have just demonstrated orally right now so first thing is we're gonna be talking about the restaurant system how many ways you can order so you can order online you can order offline you can have takeaways takeaways then you can order uh, on the go uh, takeaways are nothing but order to go basically you are going and ordering from one side and coming back from the other side and getting the meals so those are just a small cafes but if you're going to the big restaurant uh, where the takeaways may not be quickly applicable uh, may not be quickly applicable so there you have to go and park your car and wait for the order so that is how these things will work now the other thing is let's say you visited your hotel you are going to some other city and you have you are staying in that hotel and you have to you are in the room and you are ordering your food you have to call the 
uh, helpline and all that. So there we can have another system. For example, there can be QR codes in the room or in the restaurant also. So both the ways, restaurants also. Where a um, user can scan that uh, QR code and order, uh, have the menu visible to him or uh, visible to the user in the app. So from there, he or she can order the food uh, for him, for the user, sorry, not him or her, so it's for the user. So you see, currently, if you see in the market right now, you can order the food online, you can go and eat the food offline over the restaurant, and you can sit outside the restaurant in a car or something, and you can order your food from there also. Then you have takeaways where you have small cafes, not small, but for example, the quick food cafes, for example, McDonald's or KFCs. So you go there and you enter in one row and visit out from the other row. So that's basically a small, quick snacks kind of thing, which you can do quickly as a takeaways. So there are other ways of ordering than the order on go, which is I was talking about you park your car outside the restaurant and or probably you have to park your car outside after a few minutes and you're reaching the restaurant near that. So before reaching, you want to order your food so that just to avoid the time which it's going to take. So that's other area. So mainly in this problem, we're going to be, going to be talking about order on the go on the because there's two things I think mostly who are visiting this video may, may be clear about rest of the stuff. But this thing we are mostly targeting targeting in this system design. So let's say you go to a restaurant and you are planning to visit that restaurant in the next five, 10 minutes or probably next 30, 40 minutes or probably uh, little around that time. And you are thinking that while I reach that hotel or restaurant, I should have my food ready. Uh, even though I have to eat in car or even though I have to eat in the, while sitting in the restaurant. So both the options are there. It's not like only uh, in the car uh, while you have to sit and eat. It's not only for that purpose, but let's say you're going to be reaching there in next half an hour and you have to eat your food in the restaurant and you don't want to spend time after reaching the restaurant again half an hour to just order the food and wait for it. So just you can just start ordering your food from there itself. And in the meantime, that order will flow to the different restaurant uh, uh, you can say areas just who, who can start preparing your order. So that is actually the expected benefits. So the benefits here for the users. One is quick food availability. This is for the user and uh, user won't have to wait and in for billing and all that stuff if and or queue systems and all that if the restaurant is having a lot of rush on a specific uh, festival day sale not sale i would say but festival day uh, programs so in that case you can uh, visit or try and go for some other restaurant so that kind of things also user will have an option to watch upon it so let me just zoom this a bit more so these are some of the key benefits if you look from the user perspective, but let's look at the benefits from the hotel side. So one benefit is you are, uh, you will be able to track your customers better. Customers better. And then you will be able to earn, able to or more revenue then you'll be able to manage your staff better then you'll be able to manage your revenues revenues is also taken able to manage uh, how much spending is going in which area in different areas for example uh, waiter and chefs and all that so that thing you can manage okay so these are some of the things which will actually improve their revenue uh, they will have a basically business goal about it where they'll be planning to improve their uh, revenue in next probably few years how they can do it so 
they may have some business problems or pain points or drivers which may not be uh, i would say favoring them to achieve these goals so those can be some of like if you are not having this kind of system so one thing is the customers would be leaving or customers won't be coming to you uh, if your service is slow so they won't be coming to you uh, even if your food is tasty or and all that so they want to avoid that to accumulate more customers in case their delivery is slow so that is how they can achieve this and secondly if they want uh, to manage their waiters or uh, now if they have too many waiters around it and they want to manage or uh, the uh, their waiters work as well such that the revenue is also increasing and at the same time the waiters also can be more responsible according to the tables on which they have to assign and serve the customer as well so these all things uh, from the hotel side it will look like uh, how it will be better so uh, what we going to do as a technical solution is we going to be designing an erp system for this entire problem statement so as we have seen this is for only for restaurants not for big hotels or something so it's only going to be for restaurants and all that so it's going to be a small erp kind of solution erp you can say it's a kind of saas solution you can say where this saas solution will be divided into different micro services or micro or soa based services uh with some will be coarse grained and some will be fine grained services and we will have different kind of database systems and different kind of queuing systems and all that we'll be looking at other angles of data loading part also that how restaurants will be uploading their specific menus also uh, onto the new system while they get onboarded in the new system how the onboarding process also will look like so though that thing also we will look at into the system design exercise all throughout these videos and uh, we going to be looking about the data storage part how the analytics has to work how the business will get eventually the, that benefits and all that and then we're going to be looking to the platform side also for example uh, which all applications will be applied for the user for example here we are targeting for different uh, let's say you trigger an order so that order goes to back end system also that order goes to the waiter system also that order goes to the billing system also so that each of those systems get the notification each of those systems are able to track that order and uh, specifically Uh, when you place an order let's say you are 30 minutes away, away from the restaurant so you place an order so that order goes to the chef chef starts preparing it uh, simultaneously a waiter also gets assigned to that specific order to serve it once the customer arrive, arrives in the restaurant that is another part then that order gets added into the po system of that billing uh, system of that uh, restaurant as well at the same time so this is actually the entire ecosystem which will be managed and which will be making it more digitized as well going forward so we going to be looking into all these areas while we go into the more technical stuff in the next videos so that's all for now so we going to be just looking into this problem statement as of now we have just look into the business what pain points we are solving what all things we going to be adding in the upcoming designs so all those things we'll be looking at in the future okay thank you for today so we'll be looking into the next video where we will have the technical system design as well till then keep learning keep growing thank you bye